how we are going to like give the gradings, how much of the severity of the tumors. So these are going to be depends upon the two factors. So these are going to be the degree of the anaplasia and also rate of the growth. So these are going to be according to the, the standardized the classifications. So these are classified into the, the four grades. So these are the first grade is going to be the well differentiated. So it's going to be the abnormal cells that is anaplastic cells are going to be less than 25 percentage. Well differentiated means their appearance and also they're going to be the looks like is a normal uh, like a shape and size is going to be looks like it's a normal. But if you see the grade two one is moderately differentiated. So that means moderately differentiated means the cell size and shapes are going to be altered. So abnormal shape is slightly altered to the normal shape. So these cells are abnormal cells are going to be is a more than 25 percentage of the 50 percentage. So coming to the grade three. So in the grade three is going to be moderately differentiated. So that means the appearance of the cells are going to be is a is not poor, poorly differentiated. Poorly differentiated means the organelles and also nucleus, the, the nucleus as well as the, the uh, organelles are going to be alter the size and shapes and as abnormal cells are going to be increased in the more than 50 to 75 percent of the abnormal cells. The grade one is going to be the poorly differentiated or is the anaplastic cells more than 75 percentage of the cells. So that means almost is going to be the, the severe stage of the, the cancer. So these cancers we can explain according to the, the abnormal cell patterns and also the differentiations, how the differentiations, if it is well differentiations, so the uh, growth of the cells are going to be slow and also is a slow aggressive. If the poor well uh, differentiated, so poor differentiated is going to be the severe complications as well as it increasing the, the symptoms and also fast growth of the cancers. So according to the, these grades, so we can know the uh, how much the fast, how much the speed of the growth of the cancer cells. So easily we can uh, calculate. So how many days they are going to be survive properly. That means uh, safely or when they may chance to get the death. So we can easily predict according to the, the cancer grades. And also if you see the another type of the, the uh, classification of the uh, cancers. So this is going to be the so how the cancer is going to be situated? Is it the localized or regionally or is going to be distant or is going, how is going to be spread? So, and also according to the involvement of the tissue also, we are going to tell, is it going to be the benign tumors or is it maybe metastasis or how the metastasis is going to be different to the regions. So we can, is, uh, we can give the, like a, the stages and maybe classification of the tumors. So if any tumor is uh, at in situ, so in the in situ means, so the cell abnormal cell growth be there present, but have not spread to the near tissue. So is where they are going to get the where the cells are going to be developed, the abnormal cells. So the cancer is going to stay in that particular stage. It go it won't get to it won't explain it won't uh, like extend to the other parts of the uh, cells. So in that type of the cancer is called as is a cancerous in the C2. So the carcinoma in C2 means so is the where the cell abnormal cells going to develop. The cells are going to be increasing the size. So, it, and also it's going to be increasing the shape and also size, but it's not going to spread to the other parts of the body. So, the, so that cancers are called cancers in the situ. And also, next one is the localized. So, the cancer is limited to the place where it started, but with no signs that has the spread it. So, that means is this going to start it in a particular place, but here no signs that has spread. So it's not going to be spread to the any very less sign, no signs are going to be happening. In the regional means, in the regional cancers are going to be, the cancer has spread to the nearby, the lymph nodes, tissues and organs. The surrounding structures are going to be affected. So because of the, maybe either benign tumors or maybe malignant tumor, but the surrounding tissue is going to be affected because of the compression or, but because of the, the most probably is going to be the malignant tumors are affected to the lymph nodes, and also other organs. <clears throat> so in the distant cancers, so in the distance cancers are going to be malignant cancers. So this is going to spread to the one place to another part of the cancer. So especially if anybody get the cancer in the lungs, so it may spread to the brain easily through the blood and also lymphatic system. And also some types of the cancers are, so there is not enough information to figure out the stage. So there is no exact, that means we cannot say, is it from the uh, one place to another place, as it shifted from the, through the bloodstream, or is that uh, like 
uh, lymphatic system. So we cannot say exactly. So this is not enough information to figure out the stage. So which stage sometimes is not going to be like a, which is a grade uh, one or two or three or we cannot say any grades or maybe we cannot say is it there in the, uh, in the same uh, location or in a particular location, any regions we cannot say. So in those conditions, we can say is the unknown stage of the cancer. So that is the different type of the cancers and also stages. But how we are going to give the standardized staging of the cancers? So according to the international standards, so the staging according to the, we are going to classify the staging according to the TNM classifications. TNM classifications, so according to this classification, classifications, so we can analyze, so how the cancer is spread to the other parts of the body, how much of the extent the spread is there to the other parts of the body. So it depends upon the involvement of the, so our nodes and metastasis and also is going to be affects the metastasis. So if the tumors are affecting to the, so if you see the classification T and M, T for the tumors, N for nodes, M for metastasis. So it's going to be, the, it's a nodes indicating whether or not the tumor has spread into the neighboring lymph nodes. So this means the lymph nodes are going to be indicate, so indicate means how it's spread to the lymphatic tissues. So according to the involvement of the QR, like a, our tumors and nodes and metastasis, we can say the, so how much of the severity, so we can uh, predict and according to the uh, stages, we can give the, the severity also. So this system is commonly used for solid tumors. So less applicable to the lymphomas and also leukemias. So this one is going to depend upon the size and also depends upon the shape. So it's especially for the solid tumors. In case of lymphomas, in case of leukemias, lymphomas means involvement of the lymphatic system. If any cancer cells in the lymphatic system and also leukemias are especially for the blood cells, white blood cells. So in those conditions, we are not going to categorize, we are not going to the staging of the tumors with the TNM classifications. So this T for the tumor, so we are going to see the size of the primary tumor. So and also nodes, how it's affected, is affected to the regional or local effects, involvement, or metastasis, if there is, is there any metastasis there, is there any distant, or in the transmission of the, or extent of the uh, tumor, or maybe cancer from the one place to the another place. So according to these things, so we are, can understand the, the severity of the tumors. So if you see these classifications, so uh, the T, uh, T about the tumor, so in the tumor, we can see the TX, T0, TIS, T1, T2, T3, and T4. So these things, so if you see the TX means no available information on the primary tumor. So that means, so there is no information. If we suspect any about the tumor, the primary tumor, no information. So that means is that the less amount of the, the tumor symptoms and also maybe asymptomatic. So no involvement of the tumor development. So this may be with a, as we can say with a, it indicates the TX. And also no evidence of the primary tumor that is T0. And also TIS means only carcinoma in situ on the primary sites. So if anybody having the only cancer in the primary sites, so this is called the carcinoma in situ. So we can, uh, in, uh, we can give the indication, the signaling is a uh, uh, TIS. So that means a tumor in the in situ. And also if it is one, the staging will be tumor in one in situ. So if the T1 means if the tumor is less than two centimeters. So if the T2 means the two centi more than two to four centimeters. T3 means more than four centimeters. T4 means the more than two, four centimeters involvement of the nectrum and also the tergoid muscles and base of the tongue and also skin. If the involvement is more than four centimeters along associated with the involvement of the this muscles and also tongue and also skin. So if the staging is will be the, the, the T4 stage. So this is about the tumors. So coming to the is a Next about the nodes. Nodes means, is it going to be the regional or local involvement of the nodes, lymph nodes involvement. If it is a TX, so that means cannot be assessed. That means it's not involvement to the lymph nodes. And so N0, it means no clinical positive nodes. So that means no involvement of the lymph nodes. N1 means a single or ipsilateral is a more than three centimeters. So that means going to be effect of the lymph nodes is the single lymph nodes and also ipsilateral side, only one side is going to be affected, which is also is a more than three centimeters. The N2A is going to be single, ipsilateral, that size is going to be three to six centimeters. 
and also n two b is a multiple ipsilateral is a less than six centimeters, and also n three is a massive ipsilateral or bilateral or contralateral. Maybe it's a one side or two sides or opposite side, but it's going to be the massive. That means a bigger size. And next one is the n three a. That is ipsilateral nodes one more than the then one is going to be one more than the six centimeters. So that the size of the or involvement of the lymphatic system lymph nodes are going to be more than the six centimeters. And also next one is the n three b is going to be it is going to be effect to the bilateral. So bilateral means is towards the right side as well as the left side. And also n c three is going to be the contralateral. So it's a contralateral means opposite side. So that means, if for example, is a uh, affected to one side, is affected to the opposite side. Okay, that is about the the TNM staging and uh, the nodes. That is involvement of the nodes. So coming to the metastasis. So if he is a MX stage means, so it's not assessed to the like involvement of the metastasis. So there is no like a science of the metastasis. Also M zero means no evidence, no evidence. So no distance, and uh, that means no evidence spread from the one place to another place. If it is the M one stage means it indicates in the they having the meta like the distant metastasis present. So that means they having the one place to another place the extension or maybe is uh, expanding to the one place to another place. So according to the staging, so we can give the the staging of the tumors. So involvement of the tumor size and also tumor like in the involvement of the nodes and also metastasis. So we can give the stages. So this is about the <clears throat> the stages of the cancer. So how we, uh, how much of effect is there? So according to stages, we can give the the what the complications there may chance to get. How much of the uh, survival rate is there according to this? A staging we can give easily. <clears throat>